So guys, how's it going? Monday morning, uh, looking forward to a great week. First session today, working with uh, Helen Ward, Watford ladies and uh, Wales uh, four player. Uh, worked with Helen a few times over the last couple of years. Really enjoy it, she's a great professional. Really gives it all to her. Looking forward to working with her, helping sharp her up for the season. Uh, then after that, buzzing up to North London. Got three sessions up in Fairlop, about an hour and a half drive, but that's what we do. And then after that, Rebel FC training. So another busy Monday afternoon. I want to try and show you as much as possible this week, as much as, like, as many sessions as possible, show you what a, day, what a real uh, week in the life for myself is like. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Very, very worthwhile. There's a bit of rustiness out my legs. So. Okay, good. And any advice for young aspiring female footballers trying to make it in the game today? Work as hard as you can, take opportunities like this, train when you can, play when you can, but enjoy it. It's the most important thing. Great session. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. So anyway guys, Tuesday early afternoon, uh, just flown up from uh, Wimbledon, done a session down there. Now we're here at King South Sports Ground, gonna do a session with Milan. Um, Milan's aspiring young pro from Australia, been working him for a while now. Real uh, explosive midfielder, great technique, just trying to make him a little bit sharp on all his areas. And then uh, flying up to North London Mill Hill to do a session with Ra Rule, who's a young player, was at Spurs, now going to Man United on trial. And then young Jamaica, who's a fantastic young grassroots player, uh, girl player. So busy day. Been uh, I was going to get some contact yesterday, a bit stressful. Someone had a go at me actually. I was got someone who had a real attack me, like um, had a bit of a go at me, and I was it did shake me a bit. But I think you know what, when you do things like this and you get more successful, you're going to have people criticise you and do stuff that I think you just got to believe in what you do. The most the only real important feedback you get is really from the players and the parents, you know, and you know that's the important one. And you're always going to have people knocking you. Uh, for whatever reason. So you just, I think you just got to take it on your chin. It can be difficult, especially the social media and stuff like that. You've got to be, remain sort of uh, really focused and believe in what you do. As long as you're working your hardest and you're getting results. And then, like I say, from the players, uh, that's the most important thing. But anyway, back to it now. I'm going to get onto the uh, 11 side, set up the uh, goal shot with Owen and get ready for this, this session to come. Hi, um, my name's Milan. Um, I've been bringing my son here for just over three years. I'm from Australia. Um, we're here on a regular basis, and uh, I've seen a lot of improvement in my son's foot skills, movements, um, clean passes, and everything else that encompasses the, uh, the, the, uh, the good play. How's it going today? Good, tired. 
What are you working on? What are you working on? Some Ronaldo work, inside, outside, some scissors, and a little bit of touch on the line shoe. How's it been going? Good, it's been doing well. A lot better on my striking against the wall, so from the other side, if I'm striking it, I normally hit the floor first. Right. Then it bounces, but now I'm getting to the wall first, then it comes. So off. your like, ball strike has improved amazing the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah. Why is that? Because I've been working on it. Been working on it. Yeah. Also, your movement, your Ronaldo's, everything, all yeah. right? What's the plans? What's the, what's the targets? Targets. I'm not sure, you know, I want to improve more my left foot ball striking and a little bit more scissors, Ronaldo work. Yeah. And a little bit more of end products. Superb. Keep up the good work, son. <laughs> Uh, my name's Rafa and I'm Ru's dad and I've been with Saul now for maybe the last four months or so and the change in Ru as a player has been absolutely outstanding. Um, he's come out of an academy environment and being now and getting to, a chance to work on his individual attributes and stuff, um, the, the growth and development has been outstanding. I uh, can't recommend it enough. So guys, that is uh, Tuesday done. Uh, good day there. It's a great session with Raf there. As you see, look, unbelievable. The difference I'm seeing that boy in his movement is so much more explosive. His ball striking, his 1v1 movements, unbelievable. Like, really is the rule of old. Interesting what the dad said as well there. He said, you know, he's come out of an academy, he chose to come out of an academy. Look, one of the best academies around, but just didn't think there was enough individual work going on there. And you get a lot of feedback. I think there's, you know, it's easy to slip into that team based training all the time. Maybe the individual side gets left behind. It's so important to give players the opportunity to work on key things on the ball and that explosive movement and those technical areas so that's really interesting to hear and it's great to see him flying now he's obviously got uh, he's going into a couple of the big clubs in the northwest uh end of the month and next month so really wishing him luck going to carry on working on that and then obviously we're a great session with young jamaica there uh young grassroots player who's uh bags personality and a beautiful striker of the ball as well. So really nice contrast there, it's different sorts of sessions. So that's the sort of like a good, nice, typical day for me working with obviously, you know, some uh, elite players, sparring elite players, some grassroots players, but obviously, you know, stuff that we're doing is not really, not really that different. Obviously the outcome's gonna be different, more explosive. It's a great day there, gonna nip home now, early night now, see my family. And then tomorrow, another busy day, starting off with a session in the morning and then, uh, Again, a couple of sessions with some pros and uh, trying to get them out. And uh, then Rebel FC game, reserve game, we're gonna try and see. So busy, busy week as well. Another, another female pro on Thursday, Hayley Ladd, who plays for Man United. And uh, just been contacted with another pro, actually, one of Helen Moore's friends who wants to do some work, one of the female pros who plays out in Italy. So busy, busy, busy. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. So many guys, here we are Wednesday afternoon, uh, King's House Sports ground, ground here in Chiswick. Uh, good day today, just had a session, flew up from Wimbledon, goals this morning, had a session with uh, young boys over from South Korea. Now I've got two sessions, one with uh, Morris, big Russian, uh, centre back, quality technical player, big centre back, athletic, really try and test him with his movement, his receiving, his passing, get a bit of shooting on as well. And then Marcus McGuay, Marcus uh, back in town, uh, pre-season before his uh, returning back to Barcelona. So looking forward to seeing him again, first one of the uh, first one of the, the season. Uh, so again, he's an attacking midfielder, working a lot of receiving, passing, and obviously ball striking. He wants to play a little bit higher at the pitch. It's a lot of shooting and finishing as well. So uh, looking forward to a good day of uh, quality coaching. <laughs> Guys, just finished our session. Morris, how was that session? Yeah, it was good. What, what we shooting, today? shooting today, yeah. Shooting. Yeah, cuts as usual. Driving with the ball, just everything on the move. It was good. How are you feeling now? Ready for the new season? Yeah, yeah, feeling good. Uh, fit. How important are these sessions? What are they it's help, important. What are they Individual training is much more intense than team training. So, I mean, if a player wants to get ready pre-season, sort of show off in front of the manager, I think these are these are important. These little individual training sessions, exposing yourself to what you can improve on, your weaknesses. For me, it's my weak foot, for example. We're working on my weak foot, so yeah. These and you've like, you've gone like, um, you know, grew up in London, but you've gone, you've played in Slovenia, you've yeah. played in Russia, you've yeah. gone, uh, you've tried to go abroad to play. Why is that? How important is that? To uh, it, it's all about getting more opportunity, sort of exposing yourself as well to uh, new cultures. It's not easy to move away from home. You're sort of on your own. You're training with uh, you know uh, under different circumstances 
So to grow as a player, I think that's important. I mean, England is the hub of football for Europe worldwide, I think. But, you know, don't be scared to go, out, to go outside of England and, you know, create, create a story there. You've seen successful people come, come already with a name. I think they should. Good session, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, it's Marcus McGrain, Barcelona B in England. I'm here working with Saul on my football. I'm working on my shooting, my movement in and around cones and in and around the box to get off shots. And he's the man, if you need any of that help, go to Saul. So guys, Thursday morning, uh, back at it here. We're in South West London to begin with. Got a great session this morning. Listen, just reflect that session yesterday. Get to have Marcus McGrain back on the pitch. What a great player he is, great guy as well. To see how sharp he is, how explosive he is. First session back, so he got a little bit tired, but you can see that quality, that intensity. He brings his training. Uh, he's such a dedicated young man, really obsessed about getting as, as, as uh, good as he can on the ball, but getting fit and ready for the next season with uh, FC Barcelona B. Uh, but now, new day, uh, more players. Looking forward to working with Hayley Ladd, a Man United female player. Uh, just here doing a session with her before she heads back up north to Manchester for the pre-season training. So she also she's a Welsh international. Looking forward to getting her sharp, getting doing some technical bits, explosive bits with her. Then we head that back up to uh, to Chiswick. A session with a Serie A player, a striker um, who I've worked with a few over the last few years. Again, getting him ready for new season. And then we got young Rue Waters as well, a young boy who's got uh, some uh, trials coming up with some of the big. Uh, clubs in the northwest so another busy day i'm going to show you as much as possible Guys, a great session with uh, Man United, Hayley Ladd. Uh, how was that session, Hayley? Yeah, it's brilliant. Definitely get me going before pre-season. What, what do we work on today? Uh, so lots of like, ball manipulation, uh, lots of lateral movement, before I can move my body and yeah, turn opponents and get facing forwards. Cool, and so what advice would you give to a young aspiring player, especially a female player who wants to try and play for a massive club like Man United, like yourself? I think definitely spend your own time working on little details, I think especially your weaker foot. Um, and all the little skills, all the little things that you can add into your game. 
Cool. And then so um, thinking about that must be like a dream come true, right? Playing for a Man United now. Did you ever thought, think about that when you were a young player? Uh, no, not at all. Let's uh, yeah, it's a dream come true, and I can't wait to get going. Good luck. Great session. Thanks. Cheers.